Should you become a day trader or a swing trader? Coming up next. Now, if you're just starting on forex trading, you need to know that there are four main types of traders and how they classify. They're classified based on different time frames that they trade. And since I'm more of a day trader and swing trader, I'm gonna talk about what is the difference between day trading and swing trading, and which one is better for you. Now, I'm not trying to generalize. But what I'm sharing with you now is just based on my personal experience of interacting with other types of day traders and swing traders. The main difference between day traders and swing traders is that day traders they will close their trades within one day meaning that they wouldn't hold their trades for more than one day whereas for swing traders you can hold it for a couple of days and sometimes to a couple of weeks so the first main difference is the time commitment now when you're a day trader you need to monitor your charts every single day whereas if you're a swing trader you require less monitoring that's the good thing about being a swing trader so when you monitor the charts less it might also mean that you experience less so if you are somebody who don't like the stress of opening a lot of trades, then you can consider going to swing trading. Because as a day trader, you need to open at least one trade a day. But of course, that doesn't mean that every single day you need to trade because some day traders only trade two to three times a week. Remember, it's not about the quantity amount of trades, it's about quality trades. So this means that if you are a very busy person or if you are studying full-time and working two part-time jobs at the same time, there is very less likely that you can go into day trading or scalping because being a scalper and day trader will require you to be in front of the computer more as compared to being a swing trader and position trader. Second difference is the frequency in which you take profits. As the name suggests, being a day trader would mean that you would take profits daily so if you are somebody who wants to see some profits coming in every single day you don't want to wait for a week you don't want to wait for more than one day then you can consider becoming a day trader whereas for swing trader you see less frequent profit taking but that doesn't mean that you make less profits sometimes those who make more trades will actually make less money as compared to those who make less trades Third difference, trading personality. So you'll find that day traders, because they tend to open a larger amount of trades as compared to a swing trader, you would need to have a higher risk appetite to become a day trader. And of course, day traders are normally those people who can't wait for more than one day. They want to take their profits really, really quick. I don't mean that you need to TP before the price hits your target price. What I'm saying is that they don't have the patience to hold their trades for more than one day. Whereas for a swing trader, normally they would have a lower risk appetite because when you're a swing trader, you would open less trades as compared to a day trader. Remember that whenever that you open a trade in the market, you're subjected yourself to the risk of losing your money. And if you're a more patient person, then you can consider becoming a swing trader because you're patient enough to wait for your trades to work out in the next few days, in the next week. Whereas for experience, I don't really want to generalize, but I would recommend that if you're a more experienced trader, you've been trading a couple of years, you've been investing a couple of years, then you can go to the shorter time frames to day trading or possibly scalping but if you're just starting out it's better to go into the longer time frames shorter time frames are best reserved for the more experienced traders in the shorter time frames the charts will be more volatile but then again you also see very experienced traders going to swing trading going into position trading so there's no generalization as to which type of person should be put into which category because here's the thing trading is not a black and white thing at the end of the day you need to find out what is more comfortable for you so to answer the question on which trading time frame is the best to be at whether it is day trading swing trading or scalping or position trading or even investing it all comes down to you if you know that you can't go to sleep at night with an open trade then it means that you possibly should become a day trader or scalper if you're somebody who can just sleep nicely at night with multiple open trades they can consider becoming a swing trader position trader there's no time frame that is so-called most profitable. The most profitable time frame for you is the one that suits your trading personality. But then again, this is only for Forex. For stocks, I'm using a completely different approach. I don't day trade stocks. I prefer to invest long-term in stocks. So then again, the right question to ask is not so much of can which time frame is the best for me to trade. The right question to ask is what kind of trader are you first?
because your training personality and your system is a mismatch then it's not gonna turn out so well so that hopefully this answers your question as to whether it's better to be a day trader swing trader it still comes down to you you are the one who should decide how you should play the game of trading please let me know in the comment section down below whether you are a day trader swing trader scalper or position trader i'd like to know what kind of trader you are as well so with that i'm careful and i'll talk to you in the next episode bye